LSM Screen Overview. Select the LSM module from the main screen. The arrow icon in the top left corner of any screen will take you back to the main screen. The odd icon will allow you to enter or edit an audiogram and UCL data if you do not have NOAA or if you did not open Studio through NOAA. You can also use this screen as a counseling screen to review hearing levels prior to performing measurements. This screen will display the audio in HL. Select the correct ear and test that you would like to enter. Enter or edit data as needed. New data entered here will save at the end of the session if you answer yes to save when prompted. REUR, Real Ear Unaided Response. The real ear measurement term for the sound that reaches the eardrum of an unoccluded ear canal is the real ear unaided response. This tab is where you can perform an REUR. The gray curve on this screen is the response of KEMAR or the standard ear response. Running an REUR on the patient is not required for LSM, but is a helpful tool if you would like to look at the patient's unaided response and compare it to KEMAR. The results here will be displayed in EQSPL. REUG, Real Ear Unaided Gain. You can run or view the results in gain by selecting the Real Ear Unaided Gain tab or REUG. This will display the REUR measurement in gain. The measurement takes into account the patient's real ear characteristics and displays it and compares to KEMAR. LSM or Live Speech Mapping. Select the LSM tab. Live speech mapping measurements will be performed in this tab. Go to the icons in the top right corner. The first icon is to use the on top mode. This option allows you to overlay or place the LSM measurement screen on top of your fitting software. This will enable you to easily measure and adjust fittings on the same screen. Click on the probe mic icon to calibrate your probe tubes. You can now calibrate probe tubes binaurally in Studio. The speaker icon is where you will go to calibrate your speaker or speakers. For best practice, speakers and probe tube calibrations should be completed on every patient. Calibrations will be reviewed in the REM and LSM training videos. The next two icons are options to save sessions and exit. These options will be discussed in the testing portion of the training videos. This icon is the journal icon. You can use this to type notes or summarize your test results. The notes will save when testing is complete and the entire test is saved. Journal notes will transfer to the NOAA journal. Next is the settings icon. This is discussed in depth in the LSM section of the Studio Overview video. Click on the last icon in the top right corner. This is the More icon. From here, you can save the current session or open a session from a file. You can also clear previous data for the current test. The old session or test will be saved in the previous session. You are simply clearing the screen for the current test. The headset icon is for the probe monitor option. You will need to connect a stereo headset to your REM system to use this option, but when this is enabled, you can listen to what's happening at the probe tube while it is in the patient's ear. The triangle icon will give you access to system calibration information. You can view existing calibrations, load calibrations for a new system, or from your annual calibration, or if you replace or get new probe microphones. Your LSM control panel is on the right side of your screen. Here you will find the following options. Right and left ear. Stimulus options. Speech is the recommended stimulus for LSM measurements. Appropriate options are ISTS, file, or live voice. Peaks and LTAS measurements. Peaks will display the measurement curves as the peaks of the measurement. Since speech fluctuates, the curve will represent the loudest the stimulus was for a particular input level. LTAS will display the average of the measurement for a particular input level while the stimulus was running. Open fit function for LSM. 
This will be discussed further in the LSM training video as it relates to LSM measurements and when it is required. Reset. Use the reset button when measuring and adjusting in real time, or use the reset button if the patient makes noise, patient or family member talks, or background noise is introduced like the air condition, heater, or a fan. Start and stop. In LSM, click Start to begin measuring and Stop to stop and record the measurement. You will control how long the stimulus runs in LSM. Unlike Relier, there is not an automatic stop time for the measurement. At the bottom right corner of the screen, please click the target icon. Use this screen to select or change your target type, input client, transducer used and hearing aid info, and to display or hide target curves while testing. Click the plus icon to add target levels. Click on the view icon to hide AC and or UCL targets during the session. You can also change, hide, or add target levels in this screen. Your DB level slide bar is located to the left of the LSM control panel. To change levels for testing in LSM, leave your speaker volume fixed since everything was calibrated at the volume level of the speaker or speakers. You can change levels with the slider for soft, comfortable, and loud measurements. Your VU meter is displayed in the middle of the screen. This display is in SPL. A legend with the curves will display below the right and left graphs when measurements are made. OE, occlusion effect. The occlusion effect is a specialized yet easy to perform test to objectively assess clients who report discomfort with their own voice. Perform this test if patients report they seem like they are speaking in a barrel or feel blocked up. In the occlusion screen, you will find right or left ear, the start option for performing the open ear measurement, the start option for performing the closed ear measurement, and stop option if it is necessary to stop the closed ear measurement before completion of the measurement. 